all right guys welcome back to the channel today we have the ef jacked up we got the upper controller right there the original one the oem one removed we're gonna replace them both with some true hearts yes i'm boogering because i got allergies right now so just deal with it all right anyways we have the driver's side one right here uh I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want these as well. Uh, I bought the upper control arms without the bushings because it didn't sell it all together. I don't know why, but I'll list everything in the description if you guys want to cop these as well. Anyways, <sighs> my boogers. <sighs> Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and remove the OEM one over here. I think you can't even see it here, but I'm going to remove that one and replace it with this one. Out with the old. In with the new. I'm installed this bad boy now. Okay, so the upper control arms are installed and we replaced the stock knuckles with these Integra knuckles. There's uh, the upper control arms. We did it on both sides. And I also have a rear disc conversion that I'm going to do, obviously, in the back. So uh, I just put the Integra knuckles now because might as well, since we're already doing the uppers. It's the next day. I already did the upper control arms. I put new brake pads and rotors. We put the Integra calipers and the spindle. Same thing with the other side. All I gotta do is put the wheels on, which is right here. And we should be set in the front. The rear, I'll take care of it some other day, but yeah. All right, so this is how the front looks. I think it pushed it back a little bit more to like the right side. I don't know if I'm tripping. Maybe I just need an alignment. I do need an alignment because the wheels are both like, like this, cockeyed and the other side like that. See how it's cockeyed a little bit over here? Look over here. Yeah, so um, <clears throat> now that I put those true heart upper control arms, now it's hitting the actual strut tower. <laughs> it's most likely because I have um, the NPC drop forks on the, on the front. So uh, either I'm gonna stiffen up the suspension in the front so it won't hit it, or I'm gonna have to raise it up a little bit and I don't wanna raise it up. All right, so I have about a week to get this car sorted out, AKA paint the car, paint the wheels, bolt down these prelude third generation seats down because they're not bolted down all the way take off these uh glass windows well the windows because on the other side over here i found a little bit of rot and i want to fix it before it's too late i don't know if you guys can see it right there see a little hole want to fix that so we're going to remove these windows right now and get it sorted so yeah seen a youtube video the dude said to just Take off these two screws over here and then take off these two back here behind this little thing. Hold up. Behind that. Should be good and it just comes off. So we removed the quarter panel window on this side. This is all I saw from the when the window was on. Just surface rust is not through it yet. So I just need to wire wheel that. But I found all this as well. So I'm gonna have to uh, wire wheel with all that and put like some prevention rust thing. I, I don't know. I'm gonna put something over it so it won't rot. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, but before I do that, I'm gonna go take off that window and see what's popping over there. Uh, looks like this side is clean. Be this side is beautiful. Oh, that side is beautiful. beautiful. But yeah, uh, I just did this as well so I could paint the inside of this. But they said to not paint this because the because of this won't won't fit so uh, i'm gonna tape this i'm gonna tape this out and just have it all here good over here so you can paint all this but yeah it's looking good so uh i'm gonna start wire, wheel, wire wheeling the other side and i'll show you how it looks after so i applied the whatever that thing is called the pro or progue whatever the fuck 15 i applied it to the bottom where it was getting rusty a little bit don't worry it's gonna get painted as well it's gonna be all white but I'm gonna put one more coat on it and then that's it. Leave it alone, then paint the whole car after we sand it down and all that good stuff. All right, it's the next day. I'm back. My voice is leaving a little bit, but um, I was gonna take off the door moldings so we could paint it separate. But I came over here and took off this whole door panel and I saw that <clears throat> they still have the factory like seal for like the wind. So I kind of don't want to remove this. And you know, once you remove this, it never goes back to how it was. And everything is just all there good. So I don't want to take this off to take off the trim pieces. So, uh, well, the door 
the door panel, the door moldings. So I'm just gonna leave it like this, put all this back together and just paint it with the moldings on. I know that's not the right way, but I don't wanna sacrifice this right here. So we got everything masked off just so we could sand it real quick. I'm gonna sand it with 800 grit, they said. Sand 800 grit all over the white or that's already existing. And just do this with a little bit more aggressive, the black, and just paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and wet sand the whole car with 800 with this machine. All right, so we got the car lifted on jacks. We covered everything up that we don't wanna paint. I already wiped it all down. It's all prepped. It's just getting dried up a little bit because of the prep. And yeah, this is how it looks so far. We are gonna wet the floor so it won't be splash. I mean, so it won't, no dust could go flying up in the air. The holes are right there. We bought two fans. We put the filters on the back of them and we already had this fan, so we just put a filter on that. And that's it. The muffler is getting uh, pressured down with that jack so I could go ahead and paint the whole entire bumper. I'm painting this white as well, and yeah, let's get it going. They're mixing the paint over there. Oh, we also did a little ghetto booth, but yeah. All we need to do is just mix the paint and paint this bad boy. This is a track car, so hopefully it looks good. All right, so this is about two coats. All right, I'm gonna do one more. Looking good, can't really tell. There you go, look at that. Beautiful. We're gonna do one more coat, and after this one more coat, we're gonna do the clear. Remember, I'm not a professional, but it's coming out good, in my opinion. All right, so we're done with the clear. We're done with the whole car, right? Listen, before I zoom in and show you guys, okay? Remember, this is just a track car, right? <laughs> Listen, okay, look it. These icicles that my boy left over here. He I left. Tried to, <laughs> if he had a drip then he told me to bury No, it. but bro. He didn't tell me to bury it. You I did. Tried. I did, but bro, look at them icicles, bro. Never in my life have I seen icicles come out of a freaking clear coat. But that's fine. Look at that. Yikes. There's some over here too. Right here. I'm a bit, see, look, we're being honest here. We're being realistic. This is only my second time painting a car. I didn't do those icicles, it was him, but still. We're here, I'm gonna show, show him the, the drips, I'm gonna show him the drips that I did, I right? This one, can you even see it? Yeah, you see it right there. We got down right there, there's one on the quarter panel, I don't wanna just go over there and close the door, but yeah. And the door handles are a different shade of white, so we're gonna have to take off the door handles later on and paint those. Like I said, this is just a track car, okay? Look at the rear though, whoo, with the freaking white little middle piece we're back on the grind over here with the the ef um this side was so bad with the drips we had to just <laughs> we had to just we can sand it all down again we're just gonna do one coat or two coats of uh, base and just clear coat this side and we seen how the colors looked from the handle to the actual door they're two different whites so we're gonna spray that as well now it's pretty much all good we just uh this had a big drip, we tried to, you know, sand it down, it didn't work. So we just sanded down the whole entire fender and we're gonna do two base on that. Same thing with the door handle, two base. And the bottom of the quarter panel, two bases on this and then clear coat. And that's it, the whole quarter panel, the whole roof, the whole spoiler, the trunk, the freaking bumper, the rear bumper, they look beautiful. And so is the little middle piece, all good. It was just the door, the rear quarter pin on the bottom over here, the fender, and that's about it. Oh, I also got my bumper that we're gonna spray the same day too. So uh, yeah, we should be good to go. In a couple of minutes, I'll record whenever we start spraying again. All right, so the car is fully painted. Well, not fully, still needs the hood be, to be, still needs the hood to be painted. But we did change the spindles back to the original EF ones because the spindles I had from the EG and I put on the EF, it didn't, like when you go to do an alignment, it stays out of whack no matter what. So we went back with the EF spindles and the upper control arms. I replaced the, what's it called? The true heart ones. They're over there. Garbage. If you're gonna go low, do not buy them. I got skunk two ones now and they're, they're good. It doesn't hit the inside. So, now you know people, do not get 
those doodoo ass true hearts unless you're gonna use it as a race car if you want to go like this low or lower get the freaking skunk tools like i got the next video i'll probably do the rear disc conversion and wash this piece of junk also i'm gonna take this hood since i got two of them and i'm gonna cut it do like a hood cut out and yeah just stay tuned i have to paint that but yeah stay tuned and like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next video peace Run this shit, I'm